Last in broadcast booth, kind of a nice game to call, right, Mike? <laughs> when you look back at it, a lot of action there after the fifth inning. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. I mean, you know, Dylan Bundy, another great performance by him. And, of course, watching this Orioles offense come to life is something magical, right? The home runs that they hit, you know, starting to pass the baton a little bit. And the way they hit the home runs, nice to see Manny Machado going the other way. But Trey Boom Boom Mancini has arrived for sure. You know, Mike, we, you were just mentioned his name, Bundy. Um, the consistency all of a sudden has just settled in. The way his whole approach to the ball game now, mixing all of his pitches so well and being able to keep everything in the strike zone. Toronto's been so off balance. They faced him twice. We've seen some really funny swings up there, which tells you how effective he really has been. Uh, you got that right. Yeah, it's about the, that's the key, isn't it? Keeping hitters off balance, and he's done that. And I think a large part of that is Wellington Castillo behind the plate. The ability to recognize what the starting pitcher has to offer and then using it to its fullest potential. Dylan Bundy, that slider is as nasty as you're going to see in the game. Throws it hard. Great late movement right on the plate. See so many swing and misses. Then you start looking for an off-speed pitch, and here comes the noise. 94, 95 mile an hour heater. But the command of his secondary stuff has been so impressive. We talk about the slider. He's got the slower curveball, but he's also got a devastating changeup. So think about how many things a hitter has to think about when they face Bundy. Well, another quality start, though. Six strong innings, just the five hits scattered, no runs. Only one walk for Bundy. Very impressive. And I was a little concerned coming in this game because of how many pitches he threw in Boston. How is he going to respond to that? Most ever in his career, he responded right. And I'll tell you what, getting out of the door, that tough jam in the first inning, really set the tone for the game. Now, Mike, after Bundy's three starts, he's got a 1.86 earned run average. But let's talk a little bit about the Orioles' start now over the first two weeks of the season. Best record in baseball, 5-1 and one against Toronto and 8-3 and three overall with a lot of power just like last year. How do you see yeah. everything? Well, you're seeing a lot of good things that the, that the Orioles do and a reason for their success over the past five years. Great defense. They turned some clutch double plays here in this series. Of course, the power is starting to show up. I mean, two four home run games on this road trip already, and it's uh, still got three games to go. You know, you love to see that, but the pitching is really the key. The starters have been outstanding. Of course, the bullpen, you get to the back end. Everybody's been so impressive. They pick each other up, especially a tough loss last night. Boy, that was a heartbreaker. And to come back and answer the way they did today tells you what this team's all about.